fly tire Ross McDonald and this is called the, the Calvin Shrimp as you can see it's certainly nice and bright and colourful fly it's tied just it's a variant of the, the part shrimp but this fly has been doing extremely well so I'm going to tie it Hook, this is a size 5 salar, you can tie it with whatever size you like but um, it's basically so you can see it as well and it's the size I'm actually tying the thread I'm going to be using is the fire arms thread uh, in 8 and you simply, now if you're going to use a turtle knot or whatever knot you've really got to leave a space now I'm just going to start it round about a mil from the beginning of the eye that gives me my measure and I'm going to work my way down, I usually go about halfway and then for the tag I'm just going to use a, a small or a medium would do uh, gold oval tinsel I'm just going to catch underneath and quickly you can catch it on the top if you want, it's up to yourself. Work your way down. I usually like to get in line with the points of the hook. Just come back a couple of turns and there we are. And then take four turns down, just slightly around the bend to form the tag, bring it between the hooks, and catch it underneath. Then all I do is, I mean, it's a bit of a waste, but I still always do it. Take it up separating the tag and from the rib, keep bringing this back underneath and all the way back down and there we are, that's it, all secure tie, this is going to be a rib tag's formed and ready for the wing, or the tail, sorry and it is made up of three or four um, tails, now this is red arctic runner it's a really good hair, the arctic runner if you take away these guard tears, which are no use just now, especially for this part of the, the actual tail, you're looking for at least the length of the hook. And you catch that down a couple of turns. Now I've got the wax on my finger, so I'm ready to wax the thread, keep it nice and strong. And then you've got like an orange, this is the dyed orange, which is runner. what you really need to help keep the fly and move, make it really mobile. Now the tail, you've got that first part of the tail which is basically the length of the hook. Now you need the centre part to be twice that, so you catch that on. Nice pinching loop. Secure it down a wee bit, just with two or three turns, it's not going to go anywhere. Now it's magenta, light bright, it's normally mixed in. But I've got, this is the, the angel hair, it's a Sala synthetic series, and this one here is the Fata Gorva bronze, and it's a, if you look closely it's actually got the magenta gold, and it's a nice blend, so it's certainly worth using in this fly, you don't need a lot, Just to get it towards the end of the, the tail, and then secure it in two or three turns. Just trim away the excess. And I usually moisten that and lay it in the desk. Just lie it down so that you can pick it back up and tie another fly. Now I've got some magenta dyed. In this case it's just your Arctic runner. And again you just don't need a lot. Always kind of clean it at the ends if you think there's, it's a bit tangled. That goes on the top. Again, you're looking for the length of the, the hook. Again, just a pinch and loop to get it to sit. Now you've got quite a build up of materials here. So what I like to do is just come in and cut it at an angle. So basically that is tapered now. And then start to work your way up. Again, make sure you watch your thread nice and tight. You'll see it tapering as I go near the, the eye. Now you need to leave your cell about a good three mil or so. There we are. Now I'm just going to brush the tail a wee bit. Just to blend things together. 
and there we go. Now for the body, you've got yellow or light bright and red seals for blended together. Now you can dub this on. Now I've used a more a fluorescent yellow. I'll show you. That's the colour I've used, more like a like a chartreuse. And blended it to the red seals for. Now you only need a wee drop. You don't need to put a lot on. And then just form your body, just as you go up, tighten up, and wind, nice and clean. Makes for a nice tight body if you just take your time. I like it to taper towards the eye so that the wing stays low, especially when you're going to put in the wing at the top. And there we are, that's plenty. And then remove the excess. And bring the rib up through. Nice and tight. Looking for around about four turn four, oh, four to five turns, depending on how thick your tinsel is. And then remove the excess. Again, make sure there's wax on your thread at this point. Best to always sort of tidy up, come back down, see where you are. That looks fine. Now you could get some Velcro and just lightly bring out some of the dubbing. Just move your thread out of the way. Just looks really nice. Then I'm just going to use, you can use Arctic Fox at this point or uh, you could use the Arctic Runner. It's up to yourself. I'm just going to use the Arctic Runner. Nice hot orange. Again, you're looking a wing length round about the length of the, length of the hook. And around about there. So you just check the length, full length of the hook. Just like it towards the back. Nice and tight. And trim away the excess. Again, always make sure You've got some wax on your thread. Now I've got some orange angel hair to be mixed into the wing. You only don't need a lot. Just a few fibres, about half a dozen or so. I usually just catch it on my side, thread down three or four times, fold it back, and then come in and then just trim. Maybe the excess, and you can leave this for your next fly. Just bring it in so it's sitting nice. There's a hackle next. Is a I like to, you could use a genetic if you want. Well, in this case, it's a flame. It's a flame-coloured hackle, really a bright orange. I'm just going to use a Chinese. Now you're looking for a hackle fibre that goes into about halfway into the wing. Now I'm going to tie this in by the tip, take three or four turns down, fold the tip back, and then you can break this off, or cut it away, it's up to yourself, and fold, fold the fibres, and then you're looking for, probably, depending on how thick the fibres are, around about three turns or so, for a fly this size anyway, cross your thread, a 90 degree bend into it, nice and tight, come in and trim away the excess, again make sure you wax your thread at this point, any fibres that want to go in forward or towards the eye just draw them back and then tidy up and there we are, then you're looking for some jungle crop, you're looking two eyes, probably go in much the same length as the hackle fiber. So just come in, get the, the length you would like. I usually lie them on top of one another. Then open out the area where I'm going to tie it in. Just draw the fibers, draw the fibers back. And then come in either side. Got three turns to hold. Just check. Check the, the same length. Looks okay. Again, make sure to 
goes back, swing a thread, and then draw back, take a thread down and come back up. It's your jingle cock will never pull out if you do that. And there we go. You see the jungle cock sitting nice up against it. Front hackle, dyed red badger, mates, grade two, saddle, cock saddle. You could use, I've got some other white necks you could use as well. Whatever you get, whatever you, this is just a nice mark, it's got a great marking on it, so that's why I want to use it. Tying it in, nice and tight, make sure you get a bed of thread down and it's covered in wax so that you're when you're going to wind this hackle it's quite a steep head you see you've got you need all the grip you, you can get the length of the fibre is less than the, the orange hackle so that they're separate now you don't need a lot of turns and that is that's plenty two turns is as long as the hackle has it, got a good mark on it and that's why I'm using this one a nice bar, black bar on it, and a nice black tip. So cross your thread, come in, trim away the excess. Again, make sure the wax is there. You see, I can work away there, and thread stay staying nice and tight. It's because there's wax on it. And then just form your head. Just take your time, tidy up. Always nice and tight. Keeping the thread tight, come in with what finish. I always, at the same time, you can four or five turns there, but at the same time, I'm tidying up. Come in and trim away your thread. And there we are. Now, for to varnish the head, I like a coat of super glue and then a coat of varnish, or a couple of coats of varnish. Now, a very fine brush here, and I'm only touching the area where the thread is, all the way around. And there we are. Now that sets as hard as hard as iron, as I would say, and it's very strong. Doesn't wear, and once you varnish that, it seals everything up, and you've got a lovely fly. And there we go.